Hey everybody, and welcome back to part two of Let's Play Super Metroid. Last time we got things kicked off with screwing up our controls, but this time everything is incorrect. And my dogs are welcoming you all to... Oh... Oh god! Ah! Ah! My dogs are barking like crazy. We got some new neighbors, man. New neighbors. You know how the new neighbors work. So anyway, <laughs> let's get our adventure started by exploring the area. Oh dearie. Nothing we can do in here just yet. Just yet. But I have so many memories for this game. The first time I played it, you must remember that the only game I had ever really played was the um, Mario games. And I never really understood the concept of this one. So I played it rather weird. And I'll be sure to tell you guys exactly what happened when it happened. And especially this part right here, it reminded me of the ghost houses from Super Mario World. And I was just scared to death that ghosts would show up. And this is actually supposed to be the runes from, um, I think Metroid 2. We are revisiting the planet from Metroid 2. Zebes or Zebes, I, I never really knew how to pronounce it. Um, uh, Zebes, I think. But the first thing we want to do is to come down here, skippity scap over these blocks, and grab ourselves the morphing ball. Oh dear. We've been spotted. Let's get out of here. Creepy eyeball thing. And with the morphing ball, you can turn into a ball, which Samus is quite known for being able to do. The infamous ball of Summers. Summers Eret. So we'll continue here. Blow up that wall. If you jump and aim down, you can um, shoot down. And here, we're going to get a uh, missiles. <laughs> you push select, and then you can shoot them with Y, which is awesome. These missiles will allow you to open certain doors, which you normally couldn't open with your regular bullets. Which, back in the day, was quite ingenious. So, to switch, you push select, and you shoot as a door. You gotta shoot five times, but it does eventually open. And, um... You leave me alone. More missiles. Items are hidden everywhere in this game, which is one of the big, big benefits, or, um, selling points for the Metroid games, is how much, how much hidden content it has. I love doing that. Shooting it. It breaks all of them and opens the door. So we got ourselves ten missiles, as you can see on the top. But it only shows five because we used five of them. Enemies will drop missiles for you. Which is great. We love when they drop missiles. So let us do some bounty huntery. And Oh god! These guys scared me. Scary. Scary, scary. Until you figure out that you can shoot them once and they die. These are the evil space pirates. Out to defeat Samus for evil reasons. So now we figure out that we are not alone. We are on this planet with scary, scary, scary space pirates. We don't like space pirates because they do pirate things and try to end our existence. But as long as we have our nice little p ow, as long as we have our nice little pea shooter, everything will be okey doke. No space pirates gonna make a monkey out of me. Let me see if I can. Oh wow! Get out of here! You are not wanted. Evil, evil, Knievel!
This game is super, super fun. <laughs> super duper duper fun. Um, but our journey is just beginning. This is a very great game. Very rarely do you find games of this quality in modern day games. Oh, we can't go in here yet. I don't think we can. No, we cannot. So let's leave. Let us leave this evil corridor which we cannot explore. Let's open up this pink door. See what's behind you. What goodies are in here. Little... These things remind me of crickets. Not crickets. Um, those remind me of crickets. The little ones remind me of mosquitoes. So when I was little, I'd always call them mosquitoes. Ho ho! A door! And this room... Map data access complete. It gives you the entire map of the area. All the blue areas are places that you haven't been, and all of the pink areas are places that you have been. So, we have quite a bit of exploring, as you can see from that map. Uh-oh. Ah! Uh, come here, mosquito. Mosquitoes! Ah, yes, mosquitoes. And the save rooms on your map. You can also see the map on the top right. I'm not sure how many of you looked at that. But it shows you a general idea of where you, Well, it shows exactly where you are. And these save rooms, well, they save your game, of course. And if you die, you'll get put back in those save rooms. And something pretty cool that I actually didn't know until much, much later is that you can save from your ship, which is exactly what I did last episode at the end, before I went to change my controls. Ah! Oh dear. So we come down here. And you can't- there's some enemies that you can't kill just yet. Like, um, they don't really hurt you, can you- Uh, no, you can't jump on them either. I thought you could, but you cannot. I must be thinking of Mario Brothers. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, hold A, and you can run just a little bit faster. Break and open some doors. Again, again, yes, yes. Ah, another power up, bomb. So whenever you go into morph ball and press Y, you leave a bomb. Awesome. All right, so let's get out of here. Wait a minute. I sent a disturbance in the force. Ow! <laughs> this guy is evil and wants to kill us. So just avoid his attacks better than I'm doing. Missiles do more damage to him, so you want to conserve your missiles, and whenever he starts leaking, whenever he leaks, oh dear, that's whenever you, ow, start doing damage to him. And his head's gone, oh my god, headless, headless, <laughs> take that, yeah! I was explosive. Two power ups already. Let's pop some of these, see if they drop any items. Oh, and after you defeat the bosses, as you saw, you can, um, they drop items for you. Which items are always good, always good. Always good, yes, yes, yes. And this is how you lay your bombs. You just go into ball form and drop your bombs. Oh, wonderful! So look up on your radar, top right. See how there's blue just to the left of here? That means we can blow this up. Oh yeah, giggity! 
proceeding further and further into the great the planet Zibis. Zibis. Zibis Zibis. Zibis Zibis Zibis. Energy tanks! Look up in the top left. You see how it shows that my energy is 99? Well, now it has that uh, little pink block thing. And what that means is whenever. What hit me? Is whenever you're. Fine, be that way. I got missiles! Missiles prevent you from being you. But whenever your health goes all the way down to zero, then it'll use up one of those pink blocks. And whenever you use up a pink block, it'll re-give you 99 health. Oh, yes! Oh, thanks! <laughs> now, we need to blow up these creepy brain things. The best way you can take those on is to simply... I guess stay a distance roughly this far away. And in case one of those little things jumps towards you... You can... Shoot it! Oh! Another one! Ah, yes! Good, good! Elevators galore! Elevators in this game mean you are making progress. Making great progress. And this area is really, really cool. Oh dear. One of the things that you'll notice whenever you first come here is that all, just about all of the doors are pink. So you're going to need quite a bit of missiles to open them. But believe me, they have goodies inside. And these little guys... They'll keep on coming out of these pipe things. Ow. And you can actually use these to refill your health and missiles. Because the enemies drop, um, health and missiles. <laughs> so, anytime you're running low on missiles, if you can find one of these, you can just keep shooting it. And, ooh, missiles! <laughs> awesome! Anytime you find one of those, you can just keep shooting them until all of your missiles are full. Let's shoot these guys down here at a safe distance. And, in fact, I don't think we can go this way yet. Nope, we can't. So we got our missiles, and that's just about all we can do in here. For now! For now. Just about every area in this game, you can come back later. Oh, gosh. You can come back later and explore more. Oh, and when your doors are gray like that, ah, that means you can't open them until you do something in the room. So keep that in mind. When I was a kid, I sat there forever shooting those things and nothing ever happened. And oh, the map. Every new area has a map. So as you can see, we have a completely new area to explore. Ah, pretty good, pretty good. No, no. <laughs> so now we can leave and shoot people in the face with weapons. And it appears I'm just about out of time. So I need to hurry and get to the safe spot. There's one right below me. I'll go ahead and end the part right there. And... I will see everybody in part three of Let's Play Super Metroid. Take it easy, everybody. See you next video. Bye.